Hi everyone, this is going to be a DIY on how to make a bakery sign, wooden sign, um, for your kitchen or dining room, I guess, whatever you, wherever you want to put it. And it's going to be a DIY on how to make a bakery sign using your Cricut, a board, wooden board, and contact paper for your letters and I'm going to do a quick video because I'm not going to take a long time with this video um, just because I want to get this done and um, I've been putting it off for a little bit so I'm going to try and get it done. I also thought it would be nice to show you guys a little example on how to make this for yourself. Um, if you don't have a Cricut you could possibly use big letter stickers or a stencil um, but if you do have a Cricut, that works perfect. And um, this is a, a picture I'm going to show you of, um, this is just a printout from the internet, but this is the baker sign that I'm going to attempt to make um, myself with the Cricut and contact paper. You can use vinyl if you have vinyl. Um, I just don't have vinyl, so I'm going to use uh, contact paper, which I have already. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. Now, um, this one has white with black lettering, which I'm that's what I'm going to do. But you could also do any um, color you like. It's totally up to you. Um, you could also switch the colors and do uh, black uh, on top with white letters. Um, now what you're going to do is you're going to paint your board. This is my board. You're going to paint your board whichever color your letters are going to be first because the idea here is to put um, your letters over top onto your board stick them down or if you were going to stencil it you would stencil it um, and then paint over top and peel off your stickers very carefully though now um, I know that people do use uh, the Mod Podge to help with bleeding or anything like that if you like the rustic look then don't worry about it because it will look just as good I'm sure it will but anyways I have never done this type of sign I've done a welcome sign and like actually have done quite a few welcome signs and I have sewed them and they turn out awesome so I'm sure it's gonna turn out just fine now you can do whatever size of board you want this is the only size that I want because I don't have a lot of room in my kitchen and my kitchen are my downstairs first level is all open so it's um, all open concept concept but yeah that's why I'm only doing a small one but you could surely do any size you like um, what else do I want to let you know um, oh and this one is just a board right like just a sign but what I'm going to do with mine and I will show you after I complete it. I am going to put the letters smaller, like this is definitely not a huge board, but I'm gonna put the letters smaller and maybe to the right. I want to actually maybe put a hook on the side so I can hook my apron to the side of it. I thought that might be cute, so I'll, I'll show you if it turns out the way I want. Um, Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to paint your board, like I said. You're going to go in your um, Cricut, um, online Cricut thing, and you're going to choose whatever lettering you prefer. You could choose any kind of type that you would want. What you're going to do is just cut them out onto your um, sticky mat, your sticky mat. Um, you're going to put the contact paper onto your sticky mat. I got clear. You can use any color you want. It won't really matter. 
if you have some left at home or if not whatever you can find it would be fine um, and then you're just going to cut them out I'm not going to show you that process because I don't have my tripod and it's going to be very difficult for me to work with it and to cut it out but I will show you um, when I do get them cut out and go to place them on okay um, and then I may or may not show you the painting me painting it like going over the letters but if I do I will definitely um, show you that as well um, what I suggest when you paint over it though if I don't show you this um, to take a sponge brush and go very light maybe even dab because sometimes I do dab the sponge brush around the letters just and make sure your letters are stuck down really good now I mean really good because if you don't you will definitely get bleeding and your letters won't show up the way you like them to so definitely be careful when you do um, paint this over your letters um, be very careful maybe dab whichever you want to do but be careful and maybe do one coat first and then if you want or if you don't want if you want more distressed look you won't have to paint a second time but do first coat second coat you know if you, that's what you want if you want it to have really um, you know good paint over top but if not then just leave it like and then um, I may or may not distress it later so I might show you that I may take some sandpaper and distress it because I do want it kind of look um, kind of distressed look like an older look um, but definitely you don't have to do that if you don't want to you could also add a, a frame around this if you wanted to later on it's up to you I'm not going to put a frame around mine but you could uh, I'm not going to because I don't like I said I only have like a small little spot that I have planned for this hopefully it will fit as um, I do have a lot of stuff in my kitchen already so um, but anyways that is the plan and once um, once I get this done and um, I will take you through the process if I can like most of it if I can I, I like I said I really want to get this done and over with so maybe I will and maybe I won't but I definitely will show you what I've done and I definitely will sh tell you how I've done it okay so anyways I hope you enjoy um, if you have any questions please ask them down below and I will answer them if I can answer what you uh, are what you would like to know and um okay I'm gonna get to this thank you everyone okay everyone I'm back so um this is my board I got the letter stuck on as you can see um I will mention I did use the Mod Podge as you can see it's still not dried I just got done doing that I got them put to the side because like I said I'm going to try and um, put a small hook t to the one side so I can hang my apron on to it um, I want to mention which I forgot to mention before um, you also got to make sure that your contact paper is stuck really down to your mat as well without no air bubbles because if you do have air bubbles I forgot to mention this that it will um, lift up and then uh, you won't get a cut perfect cut in your uh, your mat or yeah I guess it's called mag tack really but like originally but um, contact paper so um, that's one thing I forgot to mention and I should have mentioned that before but anyways that's um, very important um, you could take a, a credit card or old 
card or anything to just like uh, get it all down there without bubbles just all you want to do is make sure you don't have any bubbles that's the important thing and that it's all like smooth and then it should work fine for you I had no problem with mine because I didn't make sure of that because um, I learned that in um, when I did my other signs but yeah I forgot to mention that so I wanted to make sure I mentioned that I'm just waiting for this to dry and then I'm going to paint it um, I'm not sure I'll show you while I paint it or after but like I said you use a sponge brush be very careful around the letters it doesn't matter on the sides because um, that's not going to bleed through that's not going to matter at all but like I said the letters you want to be gentle and maybe you know tap as you go along the letters which will make it a little bit more um, better surface I guess what I'm trying to say um, but anyways this is as far as I got now and um, I spaced my note a little bit like I said my board's not that big and um, my letters aren't all that big uh, kind of looks big on here but that that's it's not really that big I will give you measurements if you like on the size of board I'm using and the size of letters I cut okay um anything else I should mention um let me see um, oh, you can get your Mac Tac, Mac Tac, <laughs> or contact paper, whichever you want to call it. Um, my mom used to call it Mac Tac, so that's why I always call it Mac Tac still. But it's contact paper. You can get that at the Dollar Rama, or the Dollar Tree, or any places like that. Um, probably like a hardware store or anything like that too. Um, and I used this Mod Podge in the small bottle. I do have big bottles, but I got this at the Dollar Tree too. I just wanted to mention that. So check out your Dollar Tree. You get some pretty cool things. Um, anyways, that is about all I think I need to tell you about. Hi guys. Okay, so I have gotten it all painted. And done. I'm sorry it didn't take uh, you yeah, long while I painted it and stuff, but I don't have my tripod like I said, so I couldn't do that. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I don't know if you can see, but I did distressed it, um, distressed it, and um, I put. Like I said, I put the hook onto the side because I want to um, attach an apron to it. So I put it as far over as possible so that you can still see the bakery sign down the side. Um, our letters down the side, sorry. Um, yeah, and all I did for distressing it, I just took a fine piece of sandpaper. I didn't want a a lot of distress so you, I'll close up here and show you um, I didn't want a lot of distress to it um, and I went over the letters uh, I just wanted to mention that if you go over the letters if you do want to distress it if you go over the letters it takes the shine off of the paint um, if you use shine but anyways it takes it takes a bit off of the paint so that it kind of looks older I didn't do a lot to mine like I didn't want it to um, be a, a lot of distress in in the letters but you could take a lot more off if you like and you could go around the sides a lot more than I did I just went kind of lightly so that you could kind of see the the black through a little bit um, that's basically all I wanted I didn't want a too much of a distressed look but you surely could do that um, 
What else could I say? Um, oh, I was going to do mine white, but then I decided to do mine like a cream color, like a like um, an off-white, like cream creamish color because my kitchen cabinets are really like a, a creamish, like my kitchen's kind of creamish color. So I decided to do it that this color because it would blend in a lot more. Um, yeah, it turned out really good and I'm really happy with it. My bee kind of, as you can see, I don't know what happened there, but it kind of <laughs> went over. I'm not sure why or how, but like I said, um, if it does, um, do bleeds on you, like, then it just makes it look more rustic I think but you know everybody's different but anyways I'm very happy with um, the way it turned out and the way it looks um, you can use whatever paints you have laying around or you could go to Home Depot and buy paints it's totally up to you I didn't mention that because like everybody has their own preference of paints or maybe have paints laying around their house so um I didn't really uh mention that but I am now so you can just use whatever paints you have um this little hook thing I just got at the Dollarama store um if you have a Dollarama you could get that there or you could get it probably at maybe Dollar Tree if you have a Dollar Tree or you could maybe even, well, you probably could get it at Home Depot or, or a hardware store in your area or something. But yeah, it was really cheap, so it didn't cost very much. But I just wanted to mention where I did get that. I was debating on how many I was going to put, if I wanted to hang more than one apron or something, but... I think and I just like the one because if I add two it may not look right so I just decided just the one I only have the one apron right now anyways so and I don't really use aprons but it will just look so cute on the side so that's where I decided I was gonna put my apron um if you have any questions you can let me know and um, I hope you try this. It's pretty fun and it's r really cool that it turned out really nice. Um, I think it's nice anyways. Um, but anyways, yeah, if you have any questions, you could let me know. And um, if you like if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Describe to my channel. Um, this is this is very new for me I don't do videos so if you um, like the video please give it a thumbs up I beg you please <laughs> but no if you if you like it give it a thumbs up and I will try to make more and let me know if you have any ideas on other signs or DIY videos or anything that you would like to see and I'll try and make some but anyways, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, here it is up on the wall. I just love it. It looks so good. Get a close-up. Got my apron on there. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. I got it hung up and I love it. And like I said, um, my cabinets are like a 
French um, style, French vanilla style, so um, I wanted the sign to be this kind of creamish color to uh, go with my cupboards, my cabinets, so anyways, thank you for watching my video, please give it a thumbs up if you like it, and please subscribe to my channel, and...